M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So this video isn't about the Yesu FT710 you can see in the background, although that's working great. There you are, working great. But no, the, what I thought I'd show you is my RT3S that has been modified to the OpenGD77 firmware so I can actually see if I can contact a satellite, namely being the ISS satellite. So how do I do that? Well, once the firmware has been updated and I get my location in here, and this is the GPS model, I simply just, and I know you may not have seen this screen before, but this is the OpenGD77 firmware that was designed for the GD77 that adds lots and lots of functions, including satellite tracking. But now we've got a new version that actually works on the RT3S or the MD380 dual band model. So all I do is go menu, and then I go down to satellite. I've already turned on my GPS. So I'll just show you the GPS. Now, I've got a very weak lock because I'm inside the house. But if I go outside, then I get blue lines appear. So let's go back. So then we go to our satellite, click satellite, and this in, the information for satellite is preloaded from my co-plug, and it's a two-click operation, and all the information that we're seeing on the screen is preloaded, and then it then the radio will live predict when I'm going to get a pass over. So if I now select, you can see that the next satellite, the AZ is it two four zero? No, A zero twenty seven is going to pass, if I go back one, at 10.13 a.m. So that's just a few minutes from now. And let's select it again, and you can see this way it's going to pass. If I, this is the really good thing about it, it's in 32 minutes actually. If we go down one, we get this information here, 10.59, that's the time. Elevation, 51 degrees is it. 10.59 and then the name of the actual satellite which is a is that a zero ad my eyes are a bit poor so now if we push the down arrow it puts in the frequencies that we're going to need the receive which is a two two meter frequency the transmit which is 70 centimeter frequency and that frequency will actually change live and add the doppler effect now i'm finding that you'll get better reception when it's coming towards you or moving away from you. And yesterday I did manage to get a contact, well not a contact, but could hear other stations working each other via the ISS satellite. So it's excellent, so I really recommend it. So I thought while I'm sat here doing it, I thought I'd show you, and obviously if I PTT, it does. this is what you see. This radio has actually got a signal meter. If I go menu, if I back out of this completely, Go menu, and then we go down to RSS. Look, we've actually got a signal meter there. There's so many more functions on this radio. If you're in VFO mode and hold down hash, you actually have a band scope. And you can change settings on the band scope. Look at the menu just very quickly. Language, satellites, GPS. You can manually dial. I mean, it's very simple to manually dial a talk group. You literally just go... Push the hash. Now oh, we're in VFO. That's DTMF because we're in analog mode. If we back out, go into DMR mode. Let's go. That's memory mode there. Now push TG. We can enter a talk group number like so. Push the green button, key the mic, and we're on that talk group. And it will stay on that talk group until we tell it to move. Or we can go back to our pre channels. If we push the hash again, we can have a talk group. Private call, so I can call my friend direct on DMR via my hotspot or repeater if, if allowed. And then you or you can just choose a contact you've already got. So I just think it's great fun. If we go back to satellite mode, go like so, satellite. Now I'm, I'm interested in the ISS, uh, uh, so that's the one I'm looking for. There it is there. So the ISS is going to pass me at 12, let me think now, how many minutes are we looking at? Two hours, 16 minutes. So about 12, and then the, if I leave the radio turned on, it will actually tell me 
uh, the, the, it's coming and there is a uh, setting in there in the, in, the, in the satellite settings where you select auto and it will automatically tell you when the nearest one's coming it's up to you or you can leave it in manual and just choose from the list so I hope you find this interesting these are just you know RT3 radios MD380 dual band radios if you've got the MD380 single band like 70 centimeter radio then this firmware won't work you'll be you'll need to use tools I don't know if Tools was ever, if they had the satellite option there. So thanks for watching my channel. Bye for now, 7.3. Link will be in description for the FT710 and for the OpenGD77 firmware.